I met Steve Littleson, a former president. I met John Lloyd, and they talked about their commitment to continuing to build academics. I made the leap and joined the team at Jersey Shore in 2007. And we had about uh, 100 resident physicians. We had no fellows. We had no advanced training on our own. Today, we have almost 200 uh, residents and fellows. And so to see that growth has been inspiring. A colleague of mine who retired several years ago wanted to uh, find a way to give back to our resident physicians. Through her creativity, we came up with a scholarship in her name and we're gonna start awarding it in 2022 to four of our first year resident physicians who um, embody her humanism and her professionalism and her empathy, who will not have to be under the excessive financial stress, can focus on the care of our patients. And that makes me feel great knowing that that will be the future benefits of this very generous scholarship. And really in the last couple of years, I've been in a position where I've really appreciated the opportunity to, to give. It makes you feel, on top of other things that you do, that you're really making a difference into the future. Well, I'm hoping that the recipients of the scholarship really reflect on receiving it and pay it forward. There may not, not always be, if you will, the best time to, to start giving, so why not just start today? I took a bit of a leap to when I started giving, and it, it made me feel great right away. I first became familiar with Jersey Shore University Medical Center through a uh, former work colleague of mine. He encouraged me to take a meeting with Paul Hugel. I met with Paul, subsequently met with the chairman uh, at that time, Peter Cancro. Hit it off well with Peter as well and uh, decided to get involved. It was certainly a, uh, an honor to get to build this facility, a major addition to the campus here. We think it's a beautiful building and a beautiful addition to the, uh, to the campus and, and what the facilities have to offer here at Jersey Shore. For my wife, Debbie and I, this is our local hospital. There's not a member of our family that hasn't been helped in medical treatment or emergency room or whatever the case may be. So to continue the relationship and get to be involved further and contribute more certainly was uh, important for us. I think we all feel very strongly about what, what the goal and the mission is here. Really what makes the difference, of course, is the medical staff itself. There's a lot of amazing things going on here in terms of medical advancements and research the addition of new facilities to deliver really world-class uh, healthcare services uh, by what I would say is a world-class team of medical professionals. So think about your family and what their needs may be unexpectedly in the future and, and consider that you'd want to make sure you're doing everything you can, including giving uh, to such a great uh, institution. There's no question. We feel very proud of what we're doing and uh, all for great reasons. and. Uh, supporting a great group of people.